Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Swaga video. Now you'll be able to find this and all my other ship videos on my Swaga for Life tool. If you haven't seen it yet go and check it out, there will be a link in the description below. But now let's get into today's video. Now this one I'll be showing you Raiders mirror match. Now most people when they do put Raiders on defense they will put Houndstooth in the starting lineup. So if you are doing a mirror match obviously you need to make sure that you've got uh, comparable gear levels so both my pilots and enemy pilots are equally relic up because we both have ray unlocked which in my gp range is pretty standard everybody i'm facing only got ray uh, but you do want to start up with a full resistance lineup instead of houndstooth when doing mirror because this means you have three resistance ships which means that you will have then more ships with foresight and you'll be able to get uh, to your ultimate faster because that's all what the resistance fleet is about that the resistance ships use special abilities when they have foresight and this will then give you advantage so if you're doing mirror just go in without houndstooth in the starting lineup and you will get advantage when it comes to who gets to the ultimate first you can always bring in houndstooth as the first reinforcement all right here we go now my po goes first so what i'll do i'll just put a hit in their po they will put a hit into my po they get a taunt up Okay, I put uh, uh, good, good po this time. Finally, it feels like the first time I evaded. So I just cleanse that up, uh, get deflector shield going, so we can then keep keep getting um, foresight. And then as well, because we cleansed off breach, we were able to get the taunt of uh, houndstooth there, and also land a daze on him, so he can't gain bonus turn meter while he's dazed. And then here, let's bring in Ebon Hawk actually to dispel all the foresight and everything. Um, there we go, land buff immunity on Poe, we don't want him to regain foresight, land a couple of exposes, there goes the AoE, so we took care of Poe, now this attack can't be evaded, ah, but it wasn't big enough there to finish off Ebon Hawk unfortunately, and now they got <laughs> uh, buff immunity on my Poe, so as you can see we both have a similar strategy here, the AI and myself going after Poe, Alright, so now I have to deal with all this foresight, so let's go ahead, dispel deflector shield, uh, so resistance X, we can't gain, uh, regain the foresight when it gets its turn. Okay, now we're stuck behind Houndstooth here yet again, so this time uh, I'm going to bring in my Houndstooth, and now just a case of waiting until we get to our ultimate, and because uh, we started with three resistance ships, we all had foresight, we are now so far ahead with ultimate that we don't really need to worry about here them getting to the holdo maneuver before we do. So here, just gonna wait it out here and I just heal up, cleanse off. Alright, again, still stuck there. Yep, that's fine, that is, they got rid of our taunt unfortunately. Okay, let's do an AoE here. There we go, took out a couple of ships there with the AoE. And finally, time to pull up the holder maneuver here. Boom! Bring in another reinforcement. Let's finish off pilot here. Because Houndstooth's got tenacity up, so we will not be able to land breach on him. But luckily we got Ebon Hawk, so we can dispel those buffs on um, Houndstooth. Finish off X-Wing. And now uh, we just have to burn through Bosk here. Come on, give me some exposes. Excellent. There we go. Basics, basics. Okay. Now, luckily, with Xanadu Blood, when you have breached enemies, um, then Bounty Hunter allies will be doing bonus damage, which will allow you here to burn through Bosk quicker. No buff immunity there. Okay. Come on. There we go. Dispel that. Almost got him. And I think Eoi he should finish off here. Houndstooth. And there you go guys, it was good for 62 banners, which, you know, is a pretty, pretty good win, I think, in Grand Arena, uh, 62 banners, uh, not bad at all. So as you've seen, if you're doing a Redus Mirror match, just make sure uh, if, that they do have Houndstooth in the starting lineup, and that you go in with a full resistance lineup, and then this will allow you to get more special attacks when you have Foresight on with the other resistance ships, which will allow you to get to your ultimate much, much quicker. Alright well, guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick fleet video, that you find it useful, let me know in the comments below or on my Discord server, but until then have fun, enjoy life and may the RNG be with you my friends.